It's been a long time since I posted these videos, and before this most recent one, it was last September, I've read a lot of books since then, obviously. Some I haven't liked at all, and I never review those, and others I've loved a lot. Um, the first author I'd like to hit today is Joe Hill. I really like this guy. Uh, this is a collection of his short stories, 20th Century Ghosts. Um, really, really good stuff. His first novel was um, The Heart Shaped Box. Which is really good. I'm surprised nobody has made it to a movie by now. It's very cinematic. I know it sounds silly to say that, but it is. When I read it, it it's felt like a movie to me. And uh, his newest one, which is not simple at all, is called Horn. It's about a guy that wakes up one day with a set of horns. And if it were that simple, of course, it probably wouldn't be a very good story. But it's also a murder mystery. He has to find out who killed his girlfriend. And through through the eyes of three people, as you go through the book, you find out in the end what really happened. And very complicated book and probably very complicated to read, to write. Um, but I really, really enjoy Joe Hill's stuff. And if you have not, the Horns just came out in paperback recently. It's really worth your time. Er, er, you like the dude? Then Joe Hill, <laughs> show me some of his books. Yeah, show me. Mm hmm. I'm truly a century ghost. I'm not scary. <laughs> how about her heart shaped box? That's very cool. Horns? Her horns? I? I never had them. No. Yeah, you can't tell anymore, I did. <laughs> I saw them off. Stephen King, for the last, I don't know, 15 years, has not been writing books for me. That's just the way I want to say it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what's next? You're kind of boring me. Mm -hmm. Or under the derm. I'd like to put you under the derm. <laughs> this book, on the other hand, is. I've been wanting to pick this book up for a while. This book is awesome. It's got like 60 main characters. It spans 1,072 pages. It's going to be a mini-series soon. They won't do it justice, I'm sure, but really incredible. Just what it says, under the dome. All of a sudden, one day, this invisible dome separates this town from everyone else, and a nightmare ensues, basically. <laughs> But I, you should definitely read it. I've really loved it. You know, I was thinking if Stephen King had a kid, he would be like John Hill. Yeah. you got to remember, folks, he, he doesn't get out much. <laughs> He's a very scary writer, and he writes spooky stuff, but not ghost stories. No, I don't like them, but I like horns, because it's kind of like me. An outcast in society loved by no one. <gasps> or heart shaped box. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But like I said, I made a magical fantasy bridge. Would Stephen King have a kid like Joe Hill? <laughs> there is a series out by a woman named Jessie Peterson called Living with the Dead. The first one is uh, Married with Zombies. The second is Flip This Zombie. And the third, just released in paperback, is called Eat Slay Love, I think. I'm going to pick that one up this week. It's really, really good. Uh, they're under 300 pages. Um, I see. Oh, a beautiful romantic 
comedy about living with the dead. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, is it a beautiful book with zombie babies and happily ever after and killing everybody and beating them? <laughs> That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. They're, it's kind of like Nick and Nora, Charles, the Thin Man series meets Night of the Living Dead. It's like that, except, make no mistake, they're gory. She knows that in order to entertain a zombie genre audience, they can't be lame. And I don't think they are. I like them a lot. The characters, their banter really works. And each book is different than the one before it. I cannot say that Eat, eat Slay Love because I haven't read it yet. But I like that when somebody can make, not repeat the same thing. Um, I also liked the newest book by the author of Let the Right One In or Let Me In, John, whatever his name, I can't pronounce, um, as Let the Right One In was a, a take on zombie novels, I mean on vampire novels, un, uh, Handling the Undead is his take on zombies, and believe me, there is a thread, a story thread, that runs through this book that will just tear your heart out. It's so horrible, horrible in the sad sense, you know? Oh, Handling the Undead. I read that book. Yeah. You can't read. I can't do so well. I got an e-reader. Stupid! Handling the Undead is written by that guy, John Akumian. I mean, John Avub. I can't say his name. He wrote that book. Let the right run in. Let me in. Alright. Um, this guy, I have his first book. It's uh, Day by Day Armageddon Beyond Exile, book two. He also has done something which is kind of difficult in that the second book is not like the first one. And I like that. I don't like, you know, fine if you want to make a trilogy or whatever, but don't just keep repeating yourself over and over. And this guy doesn't. He, uh, I like this a lot. It, it was a, it's a very fast read. He's working on the third one, which I'm very thankful of. Oh, another Kurz Hampelberg. Day by day, book two, Beyond Exile. That guy's pretty cool. He's in the military reserves. Yeah, yeah, he kills zombies for a living. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does too. <gasps> um, Scott Ziegler, Ziegler wrote um, a book a couple of years ago called Infected can't think of the second one. It's a ser It was a series. His recent book, which just came out in trade paperback, oh, there are going to be comparisons to Jurassic Park, which is, you know, it's unfortunate. It's going to have to be said anyway, but it's called Ancestor. And that is my favorite of I think the second one's called Contagion, maybe. But that's my favorite of his books. It's a standalone novel. It's about these people that take this genetic material from cows and mix it with a very, very, very aggressive animal and come out with a monster. It's always the scientists do stupid things and pay horribly for it. And, you know, no different, no different in this book. But I love the way it was written. I like Scott Sigler. Not a boring author at all. Anyway, this is the sweet and darling sweet bubber wishing all of you a very merry Halloween. Um, it's not Halloween. Uh, what? Oh, I wasn't going to do another one of these until Halloween. Stupid, you could have told me.
guess I'll see all of you later, okay? See you later. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope I have moderately entertained you. I'm sure he's ruined your day. Stop that. You can see, no, you can't see me. I've got one eye closed. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Um, I will have, I am, have finished other books I would like to recommend, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Bye.